Quick tour update, gang. The State Trashy Tour is a cook, and we're adding shows, and we're coming to a city near you. Bring the squad out and come see us. Or hit New Haven, Connecticut, Burlington, Vermont. New second show's added in both those cities. What? Then we're going to Tampa, Florida. Second show added there. There you go. Dania Beach, Florida, Raleigh, North Carolina, Louisville, Cleveland. Get your tickies now. You snooze, you lose. See you out there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find it after they grow up to be classy. Yeah. Or they're just a big old piece of trash. Uh-huh. I'm your host, Dave Trolley, coming at you on a beautiful day out back here in the new edition. Woo! Tony's spending that cut still. I know. Saw her this morning. She had dollar bills all over her back. <laughs> I don't know what she was doing upstairs in the bedroom, but it wasn't PG, I can tell you that. Okay. My co-host is coming at you from right now. <laughs> Next to me, he is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He is an international businessman. He's got the guys on Wall Street nervous and the guys on Main Street all rooting for him. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are through the rip. Cooking. Then obviously, I have to say it in this room, Woo! the greatest gosh darn website of all time. Yes, www.patreon.com, gang. Check it out. It's the best website in the world. Yeah, it is. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man makes us all look good. Works the ones, works the twos, the threes and fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Now you get a little peek at him with the Toby cam. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Tommy McBone, everybody. What up, dudes? There what up, are, T-Bone? Pal. Oh, man, the exchange rate on this guy we got in here. Yeah. This, we got some top dollar garbage from across the bond, dude. Shout out the lids. Let's go. Yeah, heavy hitter in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Kids holding up the Western Front all by himself. <laughs> Fucking cleaning up in the European theater. Gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest, back with us again today. If you haven't caught his episode, do yourself a favor and go check it out. He is a very funny, very successful stand-up comedian and podcaster. Mm -hmm. He just released not one but two stand-up specials this year alone, about to kick off a new tour. And, of course, he is the host of Have a Word. Give it up. For Adam Rowe, everybody. Yeah. There he is. Honor to be in the new guy. Looking What's, sharp, kid. What's Thanks up, buddy? Much. Wearing that money well. Yeah. I'm so jealous of everyone's ability in this room, particularly yours, to just, with without missing a beat, <laughs> flawlessly broadcast like a monologue oh. that you've improvised. He oh, loves stop them. It. It's That's, absolutely he's fucking He's the best insane, in the biz. Dad. Best in the biz. <laughs> I'm drunk. That's what it is. <laughs> I got about 10 minutes in me. I'll be sleeping in a minute. <laughs> Get him one of them white claws. Keep him awake. <laughs> Brother, congratulations, yeah, man. man. Thanks for having us back. Fucking it's, uh, cooking. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's, uh, things are going well over the other side, and I like to pop over here every now and then. And <laughs> the, the, the other uh, side. <laughs> Sounds like you're coming from another dimension. <laughs> over here cleaning space money. <laughs> 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 ah, the I one, like the one thing I do love about you, and I, I guess it's, I guess it's the, Eng, the the English thing, is you look, you look, you're very well put together, sharp. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, where's that shirt? Where's that jacket from? Uh, so this is from a, a shop in Liverpool uh, called Tazuti. So they're like a chain of, um, they sell like designer right. shit, mm-hmm. but like if you go in at the right time, it's one of those places where they sell designer stuff, and if you go in when it first gets released, like this will be like. No one's looking pounds, you grab it. Mm-hmm. But then like three weeks later, no one's it's bought half it. Price or whatever. But it's this was like eighty percent off. <laughs> All right, this, I'll give you that. It, this, like it's really so good. So you're still a dirtbag, is <laughs> oh, what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm quite liberal with my money, but yeah. I'd rather buy five things. Sure. So I'll wait until it comes down a little bit, do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. I thought you meant if you sneak it at the right time when the guy's grabbing his lunch. Yeah. <laughs> gonna walk out with a five finger <laughs> discount. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Has man. there been any because we're obviously you know, bad with money. Has there been any stupid purchases? Anything you regret? You were doing well year? when you came over the first time. Now you guys are really blowing it out. So the last time I was here, as we were sort of discussing before we right. came on, was a bit of a shit trip for me, and I had a, a, a bad time over yes. here, break right. up with a girl and stuff. And when I went back, I thought I was handling everything really well. And when I look back on it, I was having a, a very 
glamorous mental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best kind of hair, yeah. baby. So I got myself like a, a city, like in Liverpool, we've got the, the most uh, sort of uh, sought after area is the docks, like okay. the Albert Dock in Liverpool. Okay. So I got myself like a... <laughs> what a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> by the docks. <laughs> no, but Down it by the good. oil tankers. It, it, it's a nice looking dock. It's not just... It, like they've One done day it I up, will... like, it, like it. Look, it's red. It's not grey. It's 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 pretty. It looks good. <laughs> Fucking Google it. Like it's a, <laughs> it's it. Pull it up on Zillow, dickhead. I'll show you. Ah, one day we'll have enough. One day we'll have enough money to live by the refinery. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it sounds nice. When my number comes in, I'm moving right to the train tracks. <laughs> we got a power plant view. Everything. That's awesome. Oh fuck! So you were. <laughs> Don't you love you just meet a guy and you're like, you're my kind of guy. I love it. So you were living over there. So I, 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 was, I was living in a suburb and I just went, fuck this. I'm going to go and live in the city center. Mm-hmm. Sure. On the docks. Flex on. Uh, high rise uh, apartment. Three bedrooms. I live on my own. <laughs> I, I've got a bedroom that's exclusively for sneakers. Like it's just, it's wall to wall trainers. Um, and I did that, and then I, I, I bought a car. So I, and you messaged me when I got it. I bought a Range Rover mm-hmm. Velar. Yeah. And it's fucking great. Automatic, and that's, like, like standard in the UK. Sure. It's sure. And it was just... Uh, it's a it's a few months where I look back and go, I, I committed myself to two years in an apartment that tripled my rent. <laughs> when I should have probably just bought a house. Sure. <laughs> Put a little bit away, yeah. Or went and got drunk or something. <laughs> You saved yourself a couple of couple of quid. <laughs> He's over there buying cruise ships. Saying, Fuck it. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, um, but like actual, like just buying stuff. I, I'm I'm quite bad for that. Yeah. If I see something, I'll just, just if get I want it. it I'll yeah. just like yeah. We're completing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. did that was when I didn't have a dollar? I would have like eighty bucks in my account. I would go spend fifty at the bar. Like I'm just bad with money. I'm just horrible <laughs> yeah. with it. So it's funny. It was always it always worked itself out. Yeah, because I, I, didn't, I didn't pay my student loans. I didn't pay my fucking credit card bills. My pa- my cable would get shut off. It worked itself out. Yeah. So me and my best friend, who's he's our Toby. He's our producer on the podcast. Mm-hmm. His name's Carl. He's, uh, w- when he got into university, neither of us went to university that year. He got a student loan. Mine hadn't come through yet, so I didn't get mine. <laughs> so he had a student loan that he had absolutely no need for. So between me and him, we spent every penny of it going out seven nights a week yeah. for like six months. <laughs> So he, he's got like two, because eventually he went back to university and got more student loans, and he's got two student loan debts. <laughs> Wait, they gave you the money and you weren't you weren't enrolling in school and you guys just kept so the cash? They gave him the student loan, and then like a week or two in, he was like, I, I don't want to do this course, so I'm just going to fucking leave. Uh-huh. Then, you've got the debt, but they don't take the money off you. Yeah. Ah, that's all right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <you're just> fucking... <laughs> yeah, right. Because then a round of beers after the 20 years ends up costing you like $18,000 in interest payments. <laughs> all to get fucked up for six months. Good, guys. good six months. <laughs> yeah. Splitting it with his boy. That's all right right there. You get an A in friendship, my friend. I'll uh, tell you that right yeah. now. Oh, that's oh, fucking man. so love that. Yeah. I love I that. actually so I ended up owing him hundreds and hundreds of pounds because <laughs> he wasn't just giving me it. He was like, Right, well we'll go out tonight and I'll give you another hundred out of this. And sure. Go. Um I when my mum so like we were talking before we started last time I was on here, there's a line that I get tweeted a lot from this. Of podcast, course. It's one of the funniest the ale, episodes. The ale took her because yeah. my mum was an alcoholic and that's what killed her. When she died, I got left like Two thousand pounds because she was fucking. <laughs> 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 and when I got it, that's when I paid Carl back. And oh, he, he he was like, "I'm I'd rather you give me it in ten years." Yeah, than I give can't me take your this. mom's last two thousand dollars. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, "I don't want this money. Give me any other yeah. money but this money." And I made him. That take money's it. haunted, man. You can't <laughs> fucking. You'll get bad juju on you. You spend that money. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, I used my alcoholic mum's inheritance to pay off an alcohol debt. <laughs> <laughs> Settle up a debt at the pubs. <laughs> and the upside down in a fish and chips. Let's uh, go. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, that is fucking so funny. That's great. What uh, what have you done since you've been here? Have you soaked in any of the sites? Any broad, You see a Broadway show? You hit I've any seen, landmarks? What I've are you doing? i a Broadway show. I'm a big musical theatre guy. Despite, really? Uh, appearance. Yeah, I, I went to see Hamilton a few years ago. I'm just like, this is Clicked. great. Um, 
So I went to see Parade the other night. I don't even know the, what that it's is. The, uh, it's I heard the, it's really good. It's like a, a, a resurgence of an old one that stopped. Okay. And uh, Ben Platt's the lead. So he was the guy, the original, dear Evan Hansen. He's gone on to do a lot of stuff in like movies and stuff. And it was fu- like, it's hard to get a ticket at the minute. There was like one ticket uh-huh. left, a single. And luckily I'm on my own out here. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, I'll just take Perfect. that. Um, I went to see that. I went to see a hockey game. Went to see the Rangers against the Penguins. There at you go. MSG, yeah. wow. Really good game. And I've just... Eight at good places. I went to Cats late last night and got the pastrami. I went over Respect. to Brooklyn, got uh, to Sweet Chick, got some chicken and waffles. I I went round to Freeman's, had a, a steak, eggs and fries at nine thirty a.m. Because I texted to my girlfriend and I was like, "Hey, I'm having this." She was like, "Isn't it half nine? I was like, "It's what they do here." It's what they I'm do. Just, uh... These Americans are nuts. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> hey, babe, I don't I don't make the rules. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all right. Uh, Did you fly over here up front? I did fly over here up front, but I'm flying back in the back. Wait, oh. hold on a second. Wait, what? that's <laughs> that's a dirtbag that move. <laughs> you gotta. You, oh. <laughs> it was cheaper to upgrade on the way out, so it was like three hundred and fifty pounds to upgrade on the way out, and mm. I was like, "That's worth it." On the way back, it was like four and a half grand. And oh I was like, yeah, that's, that's fucking wild. Yeah, it's it, that, it's just not. I can't. I can't justify that in my own head. No, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. funny, though. Give me first class going. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the saddest trip home. Dude. Oh, it's, it's, I'm going to be it. fucking hungover, I, I, 13 pounds heavier, and sweaty. <laughs> trying to explain to the flight attendant, I was up front on the way over there. Huh? <laughs> God you damn remember t- me? You remember? I was- Do you know what it is? On the way out, I flew at like noon, so no one needed a bed. And that's why there was so much, like, uh, right. it was cheaper to upgrade. On the way back, I'm flying at night. Everyone wants to sleep on the plane. Sure. Okay, that makes sense. I'll That's give you that. That's the price difference. I'll Ooh. give you that. Um, yeah. What I'll do is I'll just because even I've I've got premium economy. Okay. So you still get all your drinks and some decent food, um, as decent as airplane food can be. Sure. So I will just get hammered, so that I can sleep sat up. Sure. Sure. <laughs> will you get drunk at the airport? Yeah. And then on the plane. And like, then and carry then on on the plane. Piggyback it on the plane. Until I just cannot see, and then I'll just I'll sleep. Sometimes they slow your roll on the planes, though. I noticed. Like they give you they give you a drink when you get on, but then you got to wait till you get up to the cruising altitude before they they reload you. Yeah. And usually by then I'm running out of steam. You yeah. Just buy some cans in the airport and take them on with you in your hand luggage. I think that's illegal, but okay. <laughs> that is, that's for sure against FAA regulations. I don't know what you are doing over there. Yeah, but like it is against the rules. But what they do is they go say you can't drink your own alcohol on the plane, and you just go, oh well, I'll I'll make this my last one. I'm, it's already open. Like, what are you actually gonna do? You're a smooth talker, though. I would have panicked. I'd be waiting for the air marshal to fucking tie me up. I, I get like, it's a bottle of Jameson. <laughs> I'm quite happy to always argue with people in like customer service roles because really, yeah, because a lot of the time they don't know why they're enforcing a rule. So I was in a hotel in London Jesus. a couple of weeks ago, and the this hotel guy's a bulldog. I respect yeah, I like it. it man. <laughs> the hotel's got like a ho- a really good hotel bar and, and like a restaurant to it. Love like, a hotel bar. Shout out great. to nice it. hotel bars. Great. But it's what it's the type where people would go to that bar even if they're not residents yes. of the hotel. Right, it's called the Hoxton. It's in Shoreditch. Okay. And uh, so I, I, I woke up like really hungover from. We went to Country to Country Music Festival, um, the okay. Country Music Festival in London. Uh, went with my girlfriend and her friend and her friends. Uh, country music, like American country music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No kidding. So Zach Brown band with the headliners. Ooh, love um, Zach Brown. They, they were great. And it, the next morning, I woke up really hungover, so I put me shorts on and a t-shirt. <laughs> but I'm in the hotel, so I didn't want to put. I didn't have like uh, my sliders or flip flops with me. So I just went down barefoot. I was like, it's, it's all like, right. I'm on this customer service agent side. And I got to the bar and I went, "Could I just have a uh, two pints of uh, Coke, please?" And then the guy who's like the major deal, whatever, comes over and goes, uh, "I can't save you with no shoes on." And I was like, "Why?" And he goes, "Because you can't be in the restaurant with no shoes on." And I was like, "But I'm already like, I won't come back with no <laughs> shoes on." I've <laughs> learned my lesson. Just give me my coats. <laughs> and he, he went, "I can't save you." And I was like, "Well, I'm not leaving without." Two coke. Jesus Christ. Because this guy's nuts. what you're what you're gonna do is you're gonna make me walk. Where I'm gonna walk anyway if you give me the coke. Right. To I... go upstairs and get shoes to come back and all the cokes and walk back with me. Why? Why are we fucking doing this? You've told me the rule that I didn't fucking know. And why would I know it? I'm just in a hotel. I'm hungover. I'm probably still drunk. Get me two cokes and I'll be out of your way and you'll be out of mine. Sounds like you were for sure still drunk, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> did he give you the coke? It coats? was a big day. It was a big fucking day. Okay. Did he give you the cokes? He did, yeah. yeah. Of course he did. Because he... He knew. He doesn't want a barefoot guy in his bar. 
And he knew the only way to stop that happening was to give me the cokes. <laughs> His policy has to go out the window. Sure. Fuck this job. They probably fit. thought you were homeless, dude. <laughs> 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 you got a homeless guy in here singing Zach Brown lyrics. <laughs> oh man, that's oh, all right. Damn, man, God. All right. Well, I'm glad to hear things are going well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Uh, it is amazing that you guys did a show in an arena and then you're barefoot screaming. I, at know, a guy. I know. That's crazy. <laughs> I just feel there's been like this whole flip. I think COVID sort of accelerated it as well. It used to be the customer is always right. And in the past decade, no, it's you're, everybody's, yeah, you're wrong. It's completely flipped to the, the workers always right because everyone's getting paid fuck all to do these jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people feel sorry for these people, which is absolutely the right w- way to be. Sure. And in the majority of things, if someone's being a dick for no reason, you should be on the side of the server who's on like three, four, five, six, seven, eight pounds an hour. Of course. Because it's not fair. But when they're just uh, deciding to take their day out on me because it's 8 o'clock in the morning and he's in work and he can see that I had a better night than he did, fuck him. (laughs) That's pretty bulletproof, dude. (laughs) I like how you put yourself on the side of the working man. Yeah. But then you're like, I walk into a restaurant with no pants on. (laughs) It's like, come on. You know I have a better night. How does he know that? Yeah. <laughs> he can just see that, like, I'm so miserable now that, like, because hangovers are, like, I think there's, like, a, it's like Newton's cradle. Like, the worse you look, the better you were having a sure, time Sure, like yes. Before. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I look like shit. So he knew that last night I had had a good time. Mm-hmm. And I think he was jealous of it. And I think that's why he wanted to. Yeah, this guy must be a billionaire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look how bad he looks. This guy must be worth a lot of money. <laughs> what the fuck's Newton's cradle, by the way? Newton's cradle is the the um, the dangling metal balls, and if you click it, it'll... For every action, there's a reaction. Is that what that's called? Yeah. I always just thought it was a thing on my uncle's desk. <laughs> I wasn't you thought to that touch. was the name of it? <laughs> <laughs> Take your hands off. You have a thing hey. on my uncle's desk, too? <laughs> <laughs> I used to love fucking with those things. Uh, All right. All right. Let's uh, let's settle here a yes, little bit. Um, guys, uh, as you know, when you sign up for Patreon, we will answer your Patreon patreon question on the air your garbage question it's just the best way to do it uh patreon gets first crack at it and we got some heaters it's tough to try to tailor it to i'm not that well versed in uh you know in british culture because we we have a lot of american dirt bags but i'm curious to see curious to see the crossover here um this is from rwm is there currently any tape on any remote controls in your house no but there is like missing backs that i just I've just got like exposed batteries. That's that's not good. That's <laughs> this is gonna sound dumb. Are your batteries the same as ours? <laughs> no, they're fucking huge. You want, you want like my my TV Shit. remote's the size of this table. Nah, are you being serious? <laughs> Hold on, channel three. <laughs> He's fucking with me, right? <laughs> I don't know. Their plugs are real weird. <laughs> What the hell's going on um, with those things? No, fuck that. You think ours are? No, your plugs in America are fucking terrible. They don't stay in the fucking wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like the ones in the UK <laughs> stay in the you fucking it wall. You saw it. <laughs> but yours are monstrous. Yeah, but they stay in the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> they only do have one purpose, and that's to stay in the wall. I always feel like I'm about to juice up Frankenstein with these things. I use a hairdryer because, like, if I just let this dry, it's just flat. Yeah, good head of hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. keep the quaff. So I have, to, I have to use it for the quiff. Like The use, quiff? That's <laughs> a, that the, okay, yeah. It's I'll, a quiff. Okay. Do you bring your hairdryer with you or yeah. use the one in the hotel? I use, I always bring the one with me because if you, I don't know whether you've experience of hotel hairdryers. I have. It's like having an asthmatic child breathe on you. Like, yeah, yeah, some of them are I, great. You smell just, that hair to somebody else's burning hair. Oh, it's, it's grim. Uh, but yes, it, like I've been drying my hair in the hotel over here and I've had to like plug it back in like three or four times because it's just coming out the fucking wall. Yeah. <laughs> plugs are built to keep the thing that you're using in the fucking wall and your plugs don't keep anything in the fucking wall. All right. All right. <laughs> I think it, isn't it because they were like there wasn't air travel. They're like, oh, you're never going to like they made it differently knowingly. I think they were like, oh, well, the Europe has these and they were like, oh, well. You're not going to be taking your toaster to Europe, like, it's whatever. <laughs> Just who gives a fuck? <laughs> I think that's what it was. Mainland Europe has different ones again. What? 
Yeah, than yours. Because my wife's yeah. German. She had. It's, di- it's different than get England. everything on the same. It's very page. close looking, though, isn't it? It's it's closer than the states. Closer is, than yeah. the states. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I don't care which one we use. But it should all be on the same page. We should all be all driving on the same side of the road. We should all be using, I guess, the metric system, right? That's the smartest one. It's the smarter one, I believe. Yeah. And all use the same plugs. What's going we on? We can't change it now. <laughs> Why not? It'd be fucking. We have to replace all these goddamn cables in here. We'll be, be another fifty grand. You're nuts. <laughs> Are the batteries different? <laughs> no. They're the same. Exactly the same. Really? You're going to be fine over there. Like, Do you have double A's and triple A's and all that stuff? Yeah. You use uh, the same thing? Yeah. See, there you go. We yeah. can come together on something. <laughs> yeah. And they got chocolate and everything. Really? Oh, yeah. I think I know about British chocolate. What are you, fucking nuts? Our chocolate's better than the American chocolate. I don't disagree with that. I uh, it's the sugar. The I don't sugar agree with it, but I don't dis- I don't shit. I don't disagree with it. I like a Cadbury. Yeah. Oh, Cadbury's is Cadbury's good. all right. And if you ever go to Ireland... Uh, there's a rid like it, it cost you a lot for like a small bar. Uh-huh. But they've got the original recipe Cadbury's, where no it's like kidding. really expensive and it's even better. Man, but Cadbury is the guess best. he's going to Ireland this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Fe- Big man's got to get on goal. <laughs> Big man's got to get his handles on the pure. I stuff. do like a tub alone. You like a tub alone? Yeah, there are yeah. Swiss, no, but they're a bit like it. Or German. It's hard for me to decide to buy one because i know it's just a challenge for me jaw like they're sure. very hard like yeah the triangle's weird yeah i'm about it though yeah I do love a cadbury do you have the cadbury cream eggs over there too i don't like the cream eggs it gives me like a weird feeling at the back of my throat huh i thought that was something they pushed on the americans no that they're quite, the riffraff have it they're quite common especially around easter sure yeah they're yeah. all right yeah well, caramel ones are good and though. a couple of years ago they did like um Full size Easter eggs full of the cream. Ooh. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's all right. Okay. No. <laughs> right. Can't do it. Yikes. Kip, let's talk about ladder. Ladder. Let's talk about leaving bozos holding the bag. Do yourself sure. a favor, gang. Get over there and get a little term life insurance so you're not getting buried in a cooler in the backyard, <laughs> which is probably where I'm going to end up. A couple of fucking 7 Eleven flowers on that grave. <laughs> But, gang, do yourself a favor. Ladder's easy. No doctors, no needles. You get up to, what, $3 million in coverage? I believe so. Machi, machi. Yeah, gang, you find out if you're instantly approved uh, for an immediate peace of mind. You just need a few minutes. You need a phone or a laptop to apply, like the big man said, 100% digital. No needles, just a couple questions about your health. And uh, you can feel confident and prepared for when the unthinkable happens. They got a 48 4.8 out of 5-star rating on Trustpilot and the best place on the Forbes Best Life Insurance list in 2021. Go. You'll be in great hands, baby. So go to ladderlife.com slash garbage a day to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage. Ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it. Okay, let's talk about factor. Factor, factor, factor. Let's talk about knocking down two, three, four of those. No, things. one at a time. I know, but they're that good. They're that delicious. They're fantastic. You throw them in a the microwave. They're ready in two minutes. Oh, absolutely delicious. I know you bozos like to put them on a the skillet and do it nice. I do because I'm a goddamn gentleman. Yeah. Fa- I got. I signed on to factor. Sorry to cut you off. No. The, the, I, I signed on to factor way before they were an, uh, a sponsor. It's just kismet. Akash that they- told us about him because his brother. No, him. this was all me. Really. He used something else. This was all me. I found Factor. I signed up about a year ago, and I've been, they're they're fantastic. They yeah, keep you a little stuff. trim. Make they take the decision making out for you. You know what I mean? If you're keto, you're vegan, you're vegetarian, looking for something protein packed, or just counting your calories, which I'm trying to do. Factor has a meal plan specifically suited for your needs, so you can look and feel your best. They got 34 dietitian approved weekly options. There's always something new to try. And gang, you go on there, you figure out what you want, you can pause it, you can cancel it. Head to factormeals.com/garbage50 and use code garbage50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code garbage50 at factormeals.com slash garbage 50 to get 50 percent off your first box look at that thank you to factor for sponsoring today's episode of we love you love you um okay this one's from you down with Vic. same same we're in the remote world how many remotes do you need to turn the tv on at your house do you have uh, them programmed as one or are you you jumping all over the place no it's so i've got uh i i primarily use the tv in the bedroom now Okay. And it's one, but it, it does fucking everything. It's got Netflix. It's got Apple TV. All it's got there. Amazon. And oh, they've all got their own buttons on the remote. And will you nice. lay in bed? Will you sit in bed and watch TV? Yeah. Or do you ha- yeah. yeah. Talking we- flat screen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I only bought it maybe like three or four months ago. And then okay. I've got a very similar thing in the living room. Uh, but that TV is a couple of years older. So I have my Xbox plugged into that. And the Xbox does a lot of the apps. Gotcha. That's okay. the bypasser. 
Will you eat in the bedroom? Yeah, but rarely. Rarely. Like if I'm watching, depends what mood I'm in. Sometimes if like I like like the NFL, so if I'm and they're shown really late in the UK, mm -hmm. so if I'm up like late after a show, I'll watch that in bed with like some food I've brought back after a show. Sure. But like if I'm having like my dinner, then <laughs> <That'd be right. laughs> sitting there cutting a steak, fucking. I don't hate that with the NFL because my girls from Hawaii, and when we go over there, they're real early in the morning, yeah. which isn't too bad either. Just something different, it's nice. But late night NFL, that's all right. But the bars are usually closed down by then, right? You have to watch it at the house. No, our bars, especially in Liverpool. So people don't know this. Liverpool, as far as I'm concerned, and obviously I am biased, is the best city in the uk new york is a lot more similar to liverpool than it is to london okay um you can get a drink in liverpool 24 hours a day at a bar what that's pretty cool like the uh, may, there might be like an hour or two where you can't where like it shuts at 7 a.m but then by 9 a.m everywhere else is back open sure. for breakfast oh, and stuff i didn't know that I thought um, everything shut down around 11. No, oh no 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 really? like if i was going on a big night out with my friends we probably wouldn't be in a bar till 11. no shit we'd probably pre-drink until 10. did the bars over there get a good crowd for the football games and all that stuff um you mean for like american football yeah uh not ri for the super bowl yeah you have to like buy tickets for the super bowl okay. like every bar will be like we're showing the super bowl and you'll buy tickets in advance because people want to go and see it and they make a night of it sure um for a big liverpool game oh, like, that's probably crazy it's fucking yeah, insane it's nuts you're a Liverpool. You're a Liverpool fan, yeah. right? Die Hard. Yeah, yeah. I, I see you post pictures at the games. I'm like, I want to. If I want, I want to go. I want to go to a game, a Liverpool game with you. Yeah, it looks for like sure. a good time. I'll tell you. Oh that. yeah, I'll take you. To Seems a like a. What do those stadiums hoop. hold? Uh, ours. So Liverpool's at the minute is fifty six thousand. Okay. And before the start of next season, it will have been increased to sixty one, because they're they're adding five thousand new seats. So my my favorite thing about football in the UK is the songs. Yeah. Are they passing out sheet music? How are you guys learning these songs, dude? You just learn it. Like, if there's a new one. Yeah. Like, the so our main, like, home fan stand. So there's obviously four stands. You've got the main stand, which is quite quiet. There's a lot of tourists there. You've got the stand opposite that, which is the, the Kenny Dalglish stand. He's one of our greatest ever players, the stand named after him. Again, there's less tourists there, but it's a similar sort of vibe. The... The Anfield Road end is where the away fans sit, and there's a lot of, like, arguing there. But the main sort of diehard fans is called The Cop. That's our main stand. And if there's a new song, The Cop will just sing it, like, 20 times in the first, like, two or three games that it becomes a song. And by the end of it, you, you just, just know, know it. it. Yeah. Like, That's the core right. fan groups who know the songs from immediately. And also, the internet's helping that now because... Like, the most recent song that came out last year is... They're all, like, parodies of, like, famous songs. So there's a um, there's a Beatles song called I Feel Fine. Um, My baby's good to me, you know. She buys me diamond rings, you know. She said so. I'm in love with her and, and I, I feel, feel fine. fine. I got you. So the, the ma our manager... Got a good voice on him. Yeah. <laughs> Did the whole thing. <laughs> oh, Started from the beginning. It's a song and dance, man. He said he liked the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't just hit the chorus. You got like, <laughs> like him and a verse in there. But this our, guy's showing off. Our manager, Jürgen Klopp, his song is a parody of that. Okay. So it's, Jürgen said to me, you know, we'll win the Premier League, you know, he said so. <laughs> I'm in love with him and I feel fine. <laughs> That's trash. I'm I so glad it. that Jürgen is a red. <laughs> I'm so glad he delivered what he said. <laughs> Jürgen said to me, you know. I just pictured From some, the top now. I just pictured three guys somewhere crippled, fucking yeah. drunk, trying to figure out those words to line them up. So I will show you it. I won't get it up now because obviously we're recording, but as soon as we finish... I will show you that is how that song started. So there is maybe eight drunk Liverpudlians in a pub in Benfica. Yeah. What in rhymes with win? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there. But they're just hammered, just fucking, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, is yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. great. <laughs> See, that part is so fun. It's such a shame that soccer is so goddamn boring. Uh, I love it. Yeah, take that from this kid. Um, obviously not now. You're a high-profile guy, but <laughs> as a younger man, did you ever uh, mix it up at the games? Uh, I scrapping? scraps. No, I nearly got into a fight uh, against Leeds, but it was uh, because of a comment one of my friends made. So Leeds and Liverpool, they don't hate each other, that but happens. they also don't like each other. And we were leaving the, the stadium, and to get to where our coach was to get home, you had to walk maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. And while we're on that walk, we're getting towards our coaches. One of my friends went, 
Leeds is a shithole. I'm never coming back. <clears throat> and then behind us, there was maybe like 30, 40 Leeds fans who heard it. Yikes. And we just got really, really lucky. We were unlucky and lucky at the same I think time. You, I think you told us about this. That's yeah. right. Okay, yeah. So they um, they were looking for a fight with fans who wanted a fight. Sure. And we just, we were essentially... We were in the Gaza Strip. Like, we we just accidentally walked right along the tightrope. Sure, yeah, yeah, And then yeah. we got out the way and it all kicked off. Ah, there you go. Gentlemen, enjoy your day. <laughs> Tip your hat. <laughs> Take us back to the docks now, sir. <laughs> With my many remote controls. <laughs> and my stuff. huge batteries. <laughs> Uh, all right, this one's from Billy. $10 new homie, never have one read. Is it garbage to save your beer can so you can recycle them to buy more beer? What? I Do you guys... What's, what's your recycling situation what, over there? Because I know the Germans save all their bottles and go return them for the deposit. Oh, we don't do that. You it's don't just, do that. We just, like, so we get two different colored... No, they just chuck them at Leeds fans. <laughs> <laughs> this place is a shithole. <laughs> I'm out of here. They have to oh, be full to do any damage. <laughs> we, free, we freeze them and show them and throw them at the other team. <laughs> yeah, there's two different colored bins. One's for general waste, one's for recycling. Gotcha. Okay. We don't get any money to recycle. What about, like, the homeless people? They don't come around and get we them? We don't and... recycle them, no. <laughs> <laughs> they go in the regular trash. <laughs> Hey, you're on your own, buddy. He's quick. <laughs> He's quick. So there's no program where if you return the bottles or cans, you get money? Uh, no. V- very few, anyway. Like, huh. there's a guy who delivers, um, like, soda on a van street to street, and he gives you, like, 20 pence back if you return the- that, that big bottle. It's a big glass bottle. Um, Damn, you still have that over there? Yeah. Ooh, that's probably good soda. Oh, it's fucking great. It's the best. Real. What's like the brand? Green. Is it just is it Coke or whatever? Or is it? Oh no no no! no it's like it's like some local. Uh, I think it's called Dayla. D a y l a. That's the name of the company. Okay. Uh-huh. And like the cream soda is bright green, Ooh, like toxic looking shit. That's what I'm yeah. Uh, about. Dandelion and burdock and Iron Brew and Orange Aid and Cherry Aid and it's great. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's all right. That's Iron Brew is right fucking there. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it tastes like bubble gum, dude. Yeah, Ooh, good I for like a hangover gum. as well. Really good for a hangover. Um, I don't think I've ever even had it. I was only I've only been to England once for two days. I was drunk for most of it. It's a pretty <laughs> so good time. I, Iron Brew comes from Scotland. Gotcha. And oh, that's right. You spent time in Scotland. So Coca Cola is the number one soft drink in every country yeah, in the world. They're not fucking forget about it. <laughs> that it's sold in apart from Scotland, no where shit. it is beaten by Iron Brew. Keep it old school. You gotta get there. some for the set. I gotta test some of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, that sounds all Can right. you get it here? You could probably get it here. You in can. Some you sort can. of specialty store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It pops up every now and again. Yeah, if you want Homeland Security crawling up your ass, <laughs> <are> you kidding <laughs> me? <laughs> Drink Coca Cola over here, young man. <laughs> <laughs> End up on a no fly list. Yeah. Call uh, for a little cream soda. And I'm all about it. <laughs> That's good stuff. Uh, all right, let's see. This one's from Tommy. How, he just says, yo, how long do you keep the film on the TV screen? If you buy a TV, it comes with the like the thin plastic oh, or a before phone. Before I even turn it on, really? Yeah, yeah. that's the it, best feeling in the world. It obscures the view. Like you're buying a brand new TV because you want it like sure. the top end 4K, 8K. Yeah, I'm not putting a fucking <laughs> film over the like what the. You, well, you keep s- it on your phone too? No, I was just describing the film that I was talking about. Okay, no, yeah, I also take it off. I don't think I take it off before I turn it on. I don't know though. But what, like, I love that feeling. Oh, I love the feeling as back. well. Oh, it's, it's up there with. Yeah. Will you save the box to an expensive electronic, like a TV or a computer or a phone, for a little while? I, I, I don't know why, but I keep the phone one. Yeah, we we and all I do. I don't know. Why. I have three of them at my house. I don't know why I'm doing that. Like, do you think? I think it's. Do you have an iPhone? Yeah. The iPhone box is very nice. It doesn't feel like a regular cardboard. Yeah, it's yeah, real it has sharp. that like slow open and close. So you go, oh, this is expensive. I got to hold on to this for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm keeping them, but I, I've got like three or four of them. Yeah, it's yeah. dirtbag mentality. I've got boxes feel... for phones I don't have anymore. Yeah, exactly. You don't have the actual phone. <laughs> like, it's a good box. Don't throw it out. <laughs> 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 That's oh. all right. Okay, what's a, what, uh, what network provider do you have over there? Who's your so I'm with EE. E.E. Yeah. So huh. he, Kevin Bacon is like the guy on the adverts for E.E. <laughs> That's where his career's gone. He probably cleans That's up with That's good money it. over there. We're a Mint Mobile family over here. <laughs> yeah, Ryan Reynolds. Shout out yeah, to him. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about him buying the team? 
I, I'm desperate to get him onto our podcast because that team is like an hour from us. No shit. So I'm constantly hitting his PR up like, you're an hour away. Come uh-huh. and talk about this with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just got caked up. He sold. He owns part yeah. of, uh, he owns 20, part of Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile, which is a prepaid uh, a sponsor of ours, prepaid sell service. And it was just sold for like a billion dollars or something. Oh, and he owns like 25%. And he of owns it. the gin, the gin brand. Yep. Yes. Aviator, is it? Yep. Yes. And uh, like Wrexham's like a, they're like four tiers down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's a tier system with the football in the UK. So you've got the Premier League, mm-hmm. then the Championship, then League One, then League Two. And I think they're in League Two. And they are like, if they climb, which they will, they're, they're going to they're gonna be everyone's second team. And everyone will have a Wrexham jersey and everyone will like, when Man. you type in what league, it autofills is Wrexham in. Dude, because the, there's a net, there's a net, there was a Netflix. I don't know, it was on Netflix. It was Amazon, on. I think. Welcome to Wrexham or something. Yeah, like welcome that. to Wrexham. It was on, I think FX or something because it's always Rob McElhaney has a deal with FX that he was just like, oh, here's this TV show. Boys so are like all, all Americans are like, now oh, that'll be my team type thing. Yeah. Smart Shout kids are making them. money. Kids are making money. Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, this is from Keaton. First time posting. Uh, are you garbage if you wash all your sheets, towels, and clothes together in one load, or do you separate them? I, I just separate them by what I'm doing after they're wet. Do you know what I mean? So I've got a, a machine that washes mm. and dries. Gotcha. It's like a two-in-one. Sure. So like any T-shirts or shirts, I can't wash. You can't tumble dry them because then they'll shrink. Sure. But like socks, underwear. And like sheets and jeans. Let it all roll. I'll let that. So you wash your jeans and your sheets together. Yeah. Really? As long as the sheets aren't like white. Right. And then they go in a white wash. You wash them in cold water or hot water? 30 degrees, 40 degrees. Depending on. That's hot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, If he's talking Celsius. Yeah. I am. Wait. No. The way you're supposed to do it, I thought was towels and sheets are okay, but you got to do them in hot water. You're washing your jeans in hot water? Kid's got a tight fit over there. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I am like letting him know. I am built really strange. Like I've got, a, I've, I wear thirty-two waist jeans and then like double XL tops. Like uh-huh. I'm, I'm built like. Sure. There you go. I'm built like a golf ball on a tee. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if I wash my he jeans, is barrel chested. <laughs> if I wash my pants in hot water, that's it. They're now rags. Because <laughs> I'm never squeezing into those. Ooh <laughs> wee. Do you guys mind if we just take a two-minute break and I go to the toilet? No, oh, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're chilling. Okay, let's talk about Adam and Eve, baby. Oh, baby, I'm slipping out of my chair right now. Yeah, talk about a little naughty time, gang. Talking about the number one adult store delivered right to your door in discreet packaging. Mm-hmm. We're talking ticklers. We're talking So the rings. mailman you don't like it, knows, knows you don't like it in the keister. You know what I mean? <laughs> They got vibrators, lubes of all kinds, ticklers, whips, cock rings, nipple clamps, Benoit balls, butt plugs, Husker do's, Husker don'ts, crab flappers, bug busters. Just don't forget the condoms. Play it safe, gang. Yeah, there you go, gang. Have a little fun with yourself over there. It's 2023. What are we doing? Yeah, fun with yourself? I'm yeah, listening. why not? <laughs> you got a butt plug in your mouth? <laughs> are you garbage listeners? Get a, my ears. <laughs> get a very special offer. For a limited time only, go to adamandeve.com, and you'll get 50% off just about any item. Select your one item at 50% off. You'll also receive six free adult DVDs Whoa. plus 10 tantalizing free mystery gifts. There you They're go. They're giving away to shop over there yeah they are uh to top it all off they're even throwing in free shipping on your entire right order shout out to adam and eve you can always feel secure because you've always get a 90 day risk-free returns when you shop at adamandeve.com that's candle does the guarantee to satisfaction over there mm-hmm. take you right to pleasure town so you go to adamandeve.com and use code garbage at checkout use code garbage at adamandeve.com to save 50 percent on your next item do it gang do it do it Kip, let's talk about True Classics, baby. True Classics. Best t-shirt fit in the biz. Uh I'll tell you what, that's my goal, T. Is they they get into a True Classic? They go up to 3X, but I'll tell you what, man. They, it, I'm almost there. They're cut right for They're bigger gents. They're cut right. They're I know we got a right. lot of heavy bike boys out there. And they wash good. They feel they hold good. Up. Man, real home run with that True Classics. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, yeah, they're designed for a man's body. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For dudes like me. Jack Diesel 
ex-athlete kind of guys. That's Tits what, and a belly. That's what we're <laughs> like a fat piece of shit. <laughs> True classic tees give you both comfort and style. Uh, I was another. This is another one. It's weird that these brands are becoming sponsors. I was using True Classic Tees. I saw them on Instagram. I bought a three-pack of black tees. I I'll fell in love with them. You can afford to take the entire wardrobe to the next level with True Classic activewear, denim, hoodies, boxers, and more. No matter what the day throws at you, you'll have the right clothing for the job with True Classic. You get comfortable, get comfortable, and get going. Upgrade your wardrobe at True Classic <clears throat> with True Classic. Get 25% off at trueclassic.com with our code GARBAGE. Free shipping is included on purchases over $100. 100% risk-free guarantee with that. a 30-day return policy. Look at that. You can't go wrong. They're taking care of you. are making you look good. Maybe get you laid or something. That's trueclassic.com. You like getting laid? <laughs> trueclassic.com, code garbage. It looks it looks good. It's look good, feel good season. Get involved. Right, now back know. to the show. Back to the show. Okay, let's see here. This is one I ever thought of. This is from Jack. What was the speed limit on the street you grew up with? You grew up on. Oh, that's fucking. The faster really it is, good. the trashier the neighborhood. Okay, so it will have been thirty miles an hour. Thirty miles an hour. That's respectable. Yeah, because I guess mine be was twenty five. Would be residential. I grew up. Yeah, but I grew up on a cul de sac on a estate. Like not an. And it's state. An estate. Yeah, I remember this. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, estates yeah. over here is like it's different. Wow. Uh, like it's like I a, thought you were flexing for a yeah. second. Like, yeah. I take it easy. No, no, no. no. <laughs> the, the exact the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's yeah, it was a rough neighborhood with like terraced houses and okay. Uh, like I lived at a sort of halfway down a, a cul de sac. Okay, thirty miles an hour. That's good. Though. Yeah, if you if, yeah, grow up fifty five. That's Yikes. tough, man. <laughs> Crossing a four lane highway and trying, to get, <laughs> trying to get a chocolate milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's a fucking brilliant question. Yeah, I never man. thought of that. Uh, there that's was one a home run. There was one time when after my parents got divorced, my dad moved to a house, like temporarily, like rented a house, and it was on a main road, like proper fucking dudes flying down the street, main road. And I remember my mom being like, don't go in that goddamn yard when you're over there at your dad's. <laughs> had to fucking sit down and look at the window. I was like, this sucks, dude. <laughs> Deer crosses the road, somebody peels off. Yeah. Take- I think it's worth saying people didn't obey the limit where I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> it's also very sure. true. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Like, artificially, it was 30. In, re- in reality, mm-hmm. it was whatever the driver was comfortable with. Of on course, that day. on my, that day, whatever. My dad yeah. used we, to freak out because our street, there's a there's a highway, at top of our neighborhood, and during the day when people go to work, they would cut through. They cut through the neighborhood. They're cutting through the neighborhood, doing like fifty down the street to be out there losing his fucking mind. We had a lot of like motorbike gangs as well. Like, not, really? Not like, <laughs> not like Harley Davidson. Like I'm talking like a like lot mopeds? of kids. Yeah, a kids would get like a Kawasaki and sure they'd mm-hmm. be like just up and down. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. with balaclavas on and. Yeah, yeah, it's trashy. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Sounds that's like a nice neighborhood. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. What? Well, you are you a speeder now? You got the nice car. You got the range. You are you? You keep it tight. Um, are you I, letting loose? I let loose when I know that I can. Okay. So like the 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 highways, like you sort of get used to where the cameras are. Mm-hmm. And if I know I've got like ten miles, then I'll. just... That's right. The cameras can give you a speeding ticket over there, right? That's the only way you really get it. The police are very rarely just there doing. Nobody's it. pulling you over. Cameras, yeah. Really? Like you, if you, if a policeman sees you, yeah. But they're just not very often on the motorways. Huh. And, if, and if there is, you you would slow down, but. Yeah, man. That's so you'll right. just randomly get it. You could get a ticket in the mail saying, "Here's a speeding ticket of." Yeah, but you know, because you get you know fl- where they like are. It's a yeah. flash. They flash. I got jammed. I was in Switzerland with my wife, and we. Got, I mean, I got like fucking fifteen speeding tickets. It was like thousands of dollars too. <laughs> I've idiot. got nine points. So I don't know how the license system. Works. Should we have yeah. a similar point points? System. Yeah. So it's it's twelve, and you banned, and you get three for the a, like for speeding. And you have nine. Yeah. So, so like, you're right there, baby. Yeah. If I got you one should one, stop I'm... speeding. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I you got places to be. I got places to be. Like, how long do they ban you for? I had to go for? yell at customer service people at a hotel lobby bar. How long do they ban you for? Six months first, and then it'd be a year if you, you got done again. A year? Yeah. Damn, Brits hold a grudge. Yeah. Damn. I, I just had to do a safe drive. I got a, a ticket upstate New York at speed. I was flying. I was doing like 90 and a 65 or 50. I think it was 55. I got jammed up. And uh, they made me, it was a small town, and they made me do a safe driving course. Oh, I've done one of those. It was fucking online timed six and a half hours. 
So you had to sit there for like an hour, and then like it fucking sucked. So I I, I did that an online one of those, and I fell asleep. Yeah. Um, but the, it's it's done like on Zoom. So like oh really? Mine was just like an automated course. So I, I woke up and you're in the car. I'd been, I'd, I'd been kicked out of the meeting, <laughs> and I lo- I logged back in and I went uh, what? And he goes, uh, did you fall asleep? And I went, yeah. And he goes, you're not allowed to do that on the course. And I was like, okay. He goes, we'll call that a yellow card. <laughs> oh, said, there you go. He said, if you do it again, you, you're out. You're out, and you get banned. There you go. Damn, that's all it's right. Like Eight a.m. and I was hungover because yeah, I was it's on a, a show the night. It's also like, like you're not driving. It's better off doing it there than behind the <laughs> wheel. You know what I mean? Cut me some fucking slack. Also, the, it's just such a fucking stupid course. They're just like they're asking you. It's like you're doing like grade one driving. It's like it's so bad, if, a, yeah. if a sign says forty. How fast are you allowed to go? And you're like, 40 miles an hour. They're like, correct. Oh, good job. Yeah. Depends yeah. who's looking. You know what I mean? <laughs> Depends where the cameras are at. <laughs> Do I got a broad waiting somewhere? <laughs> Give me some more details, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. This one's from Boston George. $20 shareholder. Love Shout it. out to him. Are you garbage if you've been manually brushing your teeth with a broken electronic toothbrush for over a month? Tough luck. <laughs> that's tough luck. That's not good. They're not good either. They're smaller. What's your toothbrush situation? Same batteries. <laughs> uh, <laughs> two hands to hold it up. <laughs> um, I just use a, a regular, a, a regular. Yeah, yeah. me I'm too. A regular guy too. I, because I know I would be this guy. Yeah, I've been 100%. that guy. I, I just won't replace it. Mm-hmm. And they're not as good as the, without the, the shaking and moving, those it's things It's not as stink. good as a regular oh, one. No, they're yeah, brutal. Yeah. And they, yeah. the fucking heads get so old and so disgusting. I remember I took it to my buddy Pat's house, and I left it there. He's like, did you leave your toothbrush in the in the bathroom? I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah, I did. And he sent me a picture. He's like, you need to throw this thing out. Like, this is, <laughs> this. you should not be putting that in your mouth. <laughs> it's, yeah. These are new batteries. Well, it was also back in the day when it was, like, it was expensive. Now they're, like, you know, the cheaper disposable ones. But then you had to get the heads, and the heads you could only get at certain places and they shit like that. They up. Fucking, yeah. Are razor blades expensive over there, too? Uh, you can get, like, five, uh, like, Gillette Mac 3s for, like, 10 pounds. Hmm. Remember when they were, like... So expensive. They were crazy expensive for People a while. People stealing them. Yeah, but then those companies like Harry's and shit, and like all those companies that did like the dollar a month or the sure. shave, all that shit kind of fucking. Right, it was a while. The Mach 3. I remember Mach 3 was fucking huge. Yeah. Everybody had they're those. Just, they're the ones I use. and they like, But I, I'll use them twice, and then I throw it away, and I use the next one. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It says you can use them. You can use this for like three months. It's like, no, you fucking can't. The kids living at the docks. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever ever have you ever used someone else's razor? Uh, I've used like a girlfriend's razor. Yeah. Yeah. When I, like, cause like I hate this that I've I, got right now. Tough, yeah. The, the neck thing, like to come here today, knowing there's cameras on, I was like, <laughs> I should probably shave this, but I just didn't go and get the thing. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm going on like a date night with me missus, or if I'm going out with the guys for the pint, like, and I know we're gonna be taking a group photo. Just tighten it up a little bit. I'll just if I if I, if we're away from home. In a hotel in London, and I've just told her fucking wait to fuck off. <laughs> if she's brought a razor <laughs> and I haven't got one, I'll just yeah. As long just as she's done it with it, yeah, yeah, that's all right. The lady ones are nice, but using somebody else's razor, as much of a disgusting dirtbag that I am, always skeeds me out. I've I've I didn't know when I was younger. Your my, dad's maybe. I okay. was using my brothers like regularly, and then at one point he's like. He like walked in. I was shaving with him. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" He's like, "Have you been? How long have you been doing?" I'm like, "I don't know, like two years." He's like, fucking dirtbag. I remember like he would use it. I wonder why I'm going through blades every two weeks. He would use it, and then I would just use it like right. It would still be like wet, and I'd be like, "This doesn't feel right." But I didn't. Oh, dude. I didn't know, God, man. Damn. I was young. Do you use razors like that down, or do you trim? I've d- I used I I mean I've done uh, now I'm a manscaped man if you're asking. Uh, <laughs> depending Me on, too. Depending on the week. You asked that like a social worker down there. <laughs> Show me where he touched you. Um, I use manscaped, uh, but then <laughs> I I use manscaped on like the the mons pubis and like on the legs. On the what the, the the bit above your cock but below your stomach. Okay. The mons pubis. Isn't that a lake on the moon? <laughs> 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 Didn't Magellan get hung up there one time? Holy shit! Yeah, <laughs> that is the bone or with that section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I I use manscape there and then around my balls and stuff. But then sometimes I'll take the Mac 
because like I get the occasional hair on my cock. Oh yeah, yeah on sure. The, on the shaft. Yeah. Really? Just occasional. Like it's not like I, it doesn't look like fucking Wolverine, but like it's just like it's just like it's like it's my got co- a cigar in his mouth. It's like my cock's got eyelashes. It's just every now and then. It's just like. You should pluck that. It'll take longer to get. <laughs> oh, that's got to hurt, dude. I'm not plucking anything oh, out of me cock. Oh, plucking that out of there? Ooh. I'm not plucking me cock. That's a screamer. I'm not plucking me cock. <laughs> that's the greatest <laughs> sentence ever said. I'm not plucking me cock. <laughs> Ooh, Real careful with those tweezers down there. Uh, yeah. Uh, did your uh, did your guys' dad teach you how to shave, or you have to figure it out? Shave your, your pubes. <laughs> <laughs> what you're gonna want to do is pluck me cock. <laughs> no, no one taught me anything ever. They were just like my. No one talked to me. They just said go. I at one point I was using a blading cream on my ball sack. I was. Nick, I think my, I was nicking myself up pretty bad. <laughs> I think my dad did, but he shaved. Those guys shaved every day. They shaved different. Like just. Whoosh, I gotta be real. It didn't. It didn't translate well. He showed you how to do it with a Bowie knife. Yeah, she, this is how a man shaves. <laughs> Tell me how I shave. <laughs> yeah, not. I can't Who do did it. your dad teach you how to shave? Any life lessons from your parents instilled on you? Um, <laughs> did you have the birds and the bees talk? So my mum tried to have that with me, and I told her to go away. <laughs> okay. Because my mum and dad had uh, split up. They uh-huh. broke up and. Uh, the, my dad was always around, but there was like a three or four month period where we didn't see much of him because him and my mum's relationship had become so difficult. And then it was fine after that. But in that period, I remember I was in the bath and my mum came in and was like, I just, you know, there's things your dad should be to. And I just went into and I just went, just don't. Yeah, just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, <laughs> save it. Like save I'm, it. I'm in the bath. <laughs> the <show>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just jerked off. I know what's going on. I got it. Uh, it's funny. Uh, have you ever been caught by your parents uh, masturbating? Mm-mm. No. One time I did. So the, we we had this thing in the UK for a while called lads mags. Okay. So they were like soft porn. So it wasn't like um, Hustler. It wasn't like the sure. full thing. More Playboy-esque. Yeah. So Topless like just, or yeah, something. Yeah. Subtle, yeah. Well, like you're out one, to dinner or something like one, that? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> going for a walk in the park. <laughs> it's a guy picking her up. <laughs> there was one called Zoo and one called Nuts Magazine. And I would get both of them every week. Mm-hmm. And then what I'd done with them, I used to keep them under the bottom drawer of my bedside table. I know that move very well. Of course. And one yeah. one time I came home from school and my mum and dad had done like a spring cleaning of the whole house. And they'd like moved things around in my room. So they'd obviously picked it picked up. Picked it up. And there was just nothing there. And uh, then I was playing table tennis with me. We had a table tennis table in the garden. And uh, I was playing with them. And he goes, so I found your magazines. And I was like, yep, yeah, thought you would have. Just uh, throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's your serve. Shut up. <laughs> and he asked me who's been buying them. And I was like, hey, I was buying them myself. You can buy those ones. They will give you them. Oh, <laughs> uh, are you buying them yeah, yourself? Yeah. yeah. What yeah. were they called again? Lads Nuts and Mags. Zoo. Oh, yeah. It's all right. Lads Mags is nice. Yeah, that sounds, sounds refined. Gen- yeah. Guy smoking a pipe or something like that. <laughs> that ain't too shabby. <laughs> like a little soft core. It's nice. Sure. Hey, I don't discriminate. You know what I mean? I like a nice story in a in a in a video as well. I need a good storyline. You can't, can't just, just go straight into no. it. You can't just click it and have them just be fucking straight away. No, never. <laughs> I I gotta know why the plumber has his pants off. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> Kippy's a good girl. <laughs> need a little rope. Uh, yeah, you gotta wine and dine me a little bit. You can't just fucking bend me over and go to town. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I'm a lady. Uh, all right, this one's from Jonathan. They, I saw this recently by you on the road. Ever use an ironing board as a TV ta- as a TV tray or table? <laughs> yeah, really. I'll put my laptop on it, put Netflix on the laptop, and and then use it. If that. I'm in a hotel that's like shitty and doesn't have Netflix uh-huh. on the TV, like I'll use my laptop as the TV. Ah. And absolutely, you get the ironing board out, you put it near the bed. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's trash. Though. I think that's just genius. Will you eat off the table? Will you eat off the, use it as a table to eat? I don't think I've ever done that. Well, maybe I have, like, stood up, like, drunk. Also, my favorite move when I'm in a hotel, if, they, if they've got a bathtub, is I'll get in the bath and I'll put the laptop on the toilet seat and watch something while I'm in the bath. Well, you'll take a bath in a hotel? Yeah. That's pretty wild. <laughs> That's not the cleanest thing in the world. That's Especially wild. if I was just in there. That's rough. Dude. I got news for you. That's trash. That's one of the questions we ask. Have you ever taken a bath in a hotel? Not in like a luxury hotel 
with a woman and bubbles and everything. You'll just take it. You'll just draw a bath and sit if, in the bath. If a hotel's got a bath and it looks clean to the naked eye, okay. then I'm getting in. Oh. God, so they get you. Yeah, I don't know, man. Can I say this? It's like swimming in the Nile. The TV at hotels has really gone downhill. It's just fucking garbage. I guess they ex- I guess they assume you're just watching shit on your phone or your laptop. But man, it's a real tough look. You get like two stations. One of them is the fucking hotel station. Do they do shit. it where you have to like jump through the menus and shit? It's yeah. like it's not e- you can't just turn it on and go. Yeah, you know, it's, it's it's like the buttons don't work. It fucking sucks, man. Yeah, Jeez. but a lot of hotels are sort of having. Like they they're getting sort of makeovers and stuff, and they're getting okay. bigger, better TVs and smart TVs. And uh-huh. Shit, it's good. Hmm. Yeah, it's the one a... I'm in here has got like Netflix on the TV. Really? That's yeah. pretty. You have to good. use your own passcode. Yeah. Oh, see, I don't like that. But I'll log out before I leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I'm your not leaving... bank. It's not your bank account. I'm not leaving after the next like guy. They, they know something. I don't like it. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that. If they should, if they should just have it. Why can't the hotel just have? You have to have an account in every room. Oh yeah, that'd be fucking. You'd be spending fifty thousand dollars a month in fucking <laughs> you Netflix. You don't have bills. to. What are you a Boy Scout? What are you talking about? You never shared your Netflix. <laughs> All right, but still, even two or three, you can't have unlimited nine hundred rooms. Yeah, Hyatt can't pay for one fucking <laughs> subscription for every fucking hotel room they have. Hey, believe this, we're only paying seven bucks a month. We got fourteen thousand people yeah. using it. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, Playing money ball. This one's just nuts. This is from Molly. Ten dollar homie. Never had one read. Uh, as my my dad would cut the toes off his tennis shoes to make open toed sandals. He left the sole intact. Just cut the upper leather part off. Yikes! That's wow. that's that's hillbilly shit. I yeah. guess that's not. I mean. That's crazy. See, that used to be hillbilly shit, but now he could charge like three hundred dollars on pr- Etsy. Sure. Yeah, it's probably now. It's like this fucking, you know. Yeah, that's what that shit the is. The world's now. changing. <laughs> the world is fucking changing. Fucking that's idiots. A, yeah, that's a, the world. poverty chic is like a thing. <laughs> oh, dude, it's crazy. You see people, and I'm like, it's like, thr- dude. I, I popped into a thrift store. I was killing time. Like a, vi- I, they're called it a vintage store. It was a fucking, you know, Buffalo was, Exchange. It wasn't Buffalo. It's that one in the village uh, on like f- uh, 4th Street or whatever. I've been shot down at a Buffalo Exchange. You have Buffalo Exchange over there? No. So it's like it's it's like what Kevin's talking about. It's like nicer, uh, like a nicer thrift store, but you can exchange your stuff. You can go in there with your old cool stuff. Like higher end stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They shot me down on a pair of sweatpants. <laughs> Are you trying to buy them or sell them? I'm trying to give them back. <laughs> trying to make a move. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get liquid over here. Liquidate some funds. I don't think any uh, phrase... Cash out my sweatpants fund. <laughs> I don't think any phrase has had a bigger glow up in the past like two decades than the phrase second hand. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Like anything second hand I was seeing is like, oh, that's vintage. Yeah, I it's know. It's just someone owned it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I walked into this dude and it was like a jacket. I was like, oh, this is a cool jacket. It was like, I don't know, from the 90s or something. It was like, I don't know, some sort of fucking leather, uh, what, Leatherman or members only or something i'm like oh it's cool it's like fucking 380 dollars. 300 I'm like, I'm like fucking get out of here with that shit yikes not today not today look at this members only though uh get them jackets behind tebow and make a couple of bucks on him yeah there's my fucking beard none of them fit that was a problem i was buying these fucking vintage beer jackets online they're like it's a triple xl and then you buy it but it's from the 80s <laughs> so like people weren't that fat back then <laughs> a double xl was way different in 88 than it is today and apparently i'm like a 9xl in the 80s this, this bear's jacket's an xl and it's like a child small yeah. dude it's a good uh, jacket i'd be tight. like nine people in the 80s <laughs> <Kidding me? laughs> you know what's funny is I pulled that that red one out of uh, out of the bag yesterday or a couple of days ago to put it on the on the on the rack, and I was like, "God damn, this is what he's squeezing into." No, no, that one. Yeah, that one came out of the box. I didn't even attempt. I didn't sleep that night. I, was like, <laughs> I didn't attempt. It's, it it's like a toddler. I didn't attempt to put it on. I just put it back in the box it came with it and shoved it in my closet. <laughs> my wife's been begging me to get it out of the I can fucking move house. Move that for you, Buffalo Exchange. Yeah, there you go. If you want. Uh, this one's from Ryan. Is it garbage if you smoke weed out of something not meant for it? Me and my buddy once rolled a joint out of a receipt paper. Mm. Yeah, you shouldn't be smoking receipts. You smoke weed? Back uh, in the day? No, I, I, no, I never did, but okay. I did recently. I went to Amsterdam with uh, the, ah, the podcast boys. And, there you go. Um, I had a fucking great time. Really? I like me and so me and Carl both had very different experiences, mm-hmm. but like on a similar level. So I just went. 
I just couldn't stop laughing for like hours. Sure. And he went whiter than I've ever seen anyone go. <laughs> he law he went he had, in. To, he had to go to sleep. Did he? Does he smoke weed a lot? No, neither of us do. Uh, so that was a good thing for our podcast viewers. They were like, the two lads who don't do it are going to do it properly. Funny. You over your and I was just that in Amsterdam. There was so I, I, I was trying to. S- uh, th- I've seen the footage. I don't remember all of it, but like I'm trying to explain to people that I don't understand how my hands work. So I'm like, <laughs> why, why can I do that? Like, how, what, what how is, is it working? What's happening between here and here that is making me be able to do that? And then we went to a Chinese restaurant. You know, like the bus boy who's collecting all the plates. Sure. sure. I was saying that he has. I was screaming at the top of my voice. This god's got the best job on the fucking planet. He can just eat people's leftover food. He doesn't need to. <laughs> he doesn't need to pay for food. The hungriest guy in what the are world. Twelve years old. <laughs> this bubble gumber rolling on his seat. Did you eat it or did you smoke it or? Uh, it was in like a big um, bag thing. Oh, like the volcano. The thing. volcano, yeah. Whoa! You never sounded more like a cop right now. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> smoke it, snort it. Did you eat it? <laughs> we used to smoke exclusively, and we knew it was bad for you. Out of a Coke can, you take a Coke can and you dent like it. Like an aluminum can. And I thought then you that was poke holes. Like, oh, you did crack. I didn't think. Yeah, that no. Was... You also smoke crack that way. It's not... <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's not exclusively for dirtbags who smoke weed. He may or may not have been smoking crack. <laughs> no, nah, in high school, we, we we did weed, and we knew that it caused... We the- did weed. Yeah. Who's who's the cop now, dork? Where did you score your stuff? I poked these up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything sharp that's going to poke me? <laughs> you been drinking tonight, sir? <laughs> no, we used, to do, we used to do the Coke cans, and we knew. I remember being like, you see how you get Alzheimer's? He'd be like, yeah, fuck it. What are you going to do? Yeah, we used to... I remember people would say you smoke out of if you smoked out of like metal, they said it would give your lungs arthritis or something. I was like ten. I'm that like, and aluminum cares? bowls. I made a lot of aluminum foil bowls in my day. Tinners, wrap yeah. it around a wrap it around a pencil and then pull it out and then and then also nothing. also good for crack. Yeah, that's also crack. I think you're a crackhead. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> you guys know when you're smoking. I live crack? by the docks. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, you have any beef with any neighbors or anything like that? Uh, no, uh, my uh, my building is very. I know busy. you had the issue with the guy with the with taking your trash cans and shit. Oh, yeah, he yeah, moved yeah. me bins, which yeah. is uh, was another <laughs> home run of a home run. He moved me bins, <laughs> but at the new spot, <laughs> at the new spot, no troubles, right? No, because we got like a trash chute, so like it, you don't even see your bins. It's like, just, he, <laughs> it didn't have to be. It didn't have bins. to be with the bins, anybody. <laughs> and it's it's also like the Airbnb and a lot of the. Uh, rooms because like they, they can't fill them tourists yeah. and stuff like that coming yeah. in do you gotcha. like that that's gotta, that's gotta be not great it, it, I, I just don't i don't know to say oh there you like go. i just I, if i'm in my apartment then i'm in my apartments and if i'm out i'm out like mm-hmm. I just, it, it's, i'm not in the communal areas a lot sure you're not shit. hanging around well you do airbnbs on the road or you do hotels or what do you do what do you uh, like what do you prefer because we flip flop a little bit over here i, I prioritize hotels mm-hmm. just because I, I trust the system more I don't disagree. Do you, know what I mean? you know what you're getting. Yeah. You're paying a corporation, not some fucking guy. Yeah, it's just, it feels safer. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why. Um, I've asked, depending on sales, can I get a bus for my tour? Oh. I've asked Live Nation, uh, promoting it, like, can, instead of doing hotels and hiring a car, just get can, a we bus. Just, can we get a tour bus with a bed in it? You got a shower somewhere, though. Yeah, they have it on it, on the yeah. bus. Oh, really? Like a proper tour bus. Yeah. yeah. All right. Wait, so in your. Your tour now, they drive you. You have a driver to the from. No, spot so to spot. we were discussing budget, and I was like, I want to get. Um, this guy's cool. I yeah, want a support right. act on every show. Uh huh. Um, and I want me videographer at every show. Um, and I'll pay them day rates, obviously, but also I'm gonna ask them to do the driving. Like I hate doing long drives. Sure. I was like, so the support act will be told you're on this fee, but you're also doing the driving to the mm-hmm. shows. Um, and I was like, but that's three hotels a day, like. That's why we started doing Airbnbs. We travel with five of us yeah. between me, Foley, Toby, Luke, and our opener. Plus, you get to goof around more when it's an Airbnb. Yeah, yeah, but it, I just because of that, I was like, is it more cost effective to get a bus, bus than pay yeah. three Buses hotels? Are expensive, I hear. They though. really they're are crazy. Uh, but like, if because the tour is going to hire a car as well, they're going to hire a car for the tour out of the budget, and then they're going to pay for three hotels. At that point, it's like, it does it get it, there? Yeah. It, it probably will get towards similar pricing. And yeah. It's just cool. Let's have a bus. It's fun, dude. We did it. We did it with Bert for two or three days. It was fucking fantastic. I don't the think they showered thing. on the bus, though. You'd always want to get a hotel just to freshen up a little bit. Right? Were they showering on there? They will be. 
They there is a shower on there. I don't know if they did though. I think well, I no, we showered at the venue the one time when we got there and then we showered. Yes. They they did have us they had us a hotel room, not to sleep in though. So I guess you they would, got ju- hotel you would just stay on the bus the whole time. You would shower, do everything in there. That's what I assumed, but maybe you huh. you're, you're informing me stuff that I need to reevaluate. I don't know though. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I'm I mean, I would one. love a fucking AYG tour bus putting across America, breaking down. You, know <laughs> <what I mean? laughs> you got to stay on brand, baby. It's a yellow school bus. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Let's do one or two more here, then we got to wrap it up there, gang. Uh, this one I never thought about. This is for Matt. Is it garbage to open presents at the restaurant table when it's someone's birthday? Ooh. No, that's normal. I think it's kind of normal, but I could see how it could be portrayed a little trashy. We always did it, I feel, at like a, a bigger... Kid. As a bigger thing, too, though. I mean, if it was just my immediate family, we would do it at the house. You're supposed to open the presents in front of the person who gave you it. Sure. Like, so if they're not going to be coming home with you, you've got to do it at the dining table. Yes, that does make sense. In a bag with a little paper, I think would be all right. Are you still getting birthday presents? Like, no, multiple? So we... Like, my, me me girlfriend got me a lot of really great uh, birthday okay. presents. Well, Christmas is what I normally do. So, like, I'll, I'll have my dad and my brother over for food. We'll get all each other presents. Get me girlfriend quite a bit. And then the podcast team, we all do Christmas presents as well. Right. So what we do is we film just before Christmas. We did the Have a Word Christmas. Sure, I, I Christmas cooked, episode. I cooked dinner for everyone. Oh, nice. We didn't do it in the studio. We did it in... So in my building, there's ah, a... There's a, clean. There's like a, a communal kitchen yeah. or whatever. Type yeah, so room. I just hired that for the night, and we filmed in there. I did dinner for everyone. We all did presents, and then we released that at 6 a.m. Christmas morning. So oh, I was like, if fun. you're alone at Christmas, spend it with us. Oh, that's fun. He's a good shit, this Adam Rowe. <laughs> Stealing steal that, I'll tell you. <laughs> Coming this AYG Christmas. If you're alone, hit me up. That's all right. Uh, all right, we got to wrap it up, gang. Buddy, this has been so fun. I love it's you, man. Great. Thank you so we much. Love you love death. Congratulations yeah. on all your success. Thank you very you much. You got the two specials out. Two you specials. Tour start and anything else you want to focus on? Yeah, plug another? away. Yeah. Plug the uh, specials, plug everything. If you're over in the UK, tour starts in October. It's just adamrow.co.uk. You can get all the shows there. The two specials that have gone out, Imperius is my last stand-up tour from last year. It's just a traditional hour of stand-up, my sort of stereotypical bit. Juicy is one long story, and uh, I have to say for legal reasons it's fictional, but I think <laughs> that, that's been the most well-received It's very piece. fictional. <laughs> that's been the most well-received bit of work I've ever put out. Awesome. Like I've had thousands of like big paragraph messages about it going fuck. So I, I didn't realize it was going to have that effect. I knew, I knew I was the most proud of that that I, I'd ever been of anything else. That's sick. But like it's it's really come across. So if you if you want to watch anything, go and watch Adam Road Juicy. It's on the Have a Word podcast YouTube channel. Thank you, brother. Love it. Congratulations. Yeah, we love congrats. it. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, guys, we're also all over the road. Uh, shows are selling out. We're adding second shows. Uh, get those tickets before they are gone. Uh, thank you so much. We love you. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.